Hello everybody, I'm Dallin Christensen from Whiteboard Business Partners, where I help you make your business happen. This is the first installment of an exciting new blog series called How I Make My Business Happen. We all want to be more productive, we all want to be more focused, but sometimes we see so many different applications, tools, and different approaches that people use to get their business done that it could become overwhelming. My goal for this series is to help you see how I make my own business happen and give you some ideas and inspiration about how you can use the tools and tricks at your disposal in order to become more focused, productive, and brilliant in your own work. I love the Evernote tool. I'm a premium subscriber for $45 a year and it is money absolutely well spent. Evernote is my informational hub. Nothing goes into or out of my workflow that doesn't in one way, shape, or form touch Evernote. What I'd like to do over the next couple of sessions is show you some different ways that I use Evernote in order to help you harness the power of this great tool. And today the first thing that we're going to do is show how I organize and collect ideas for the projects that I will consider by using Evernote. So as you can see on my Mac, I do have the Evernote application and I'm going to open that right now. However, you can always access Evernote through the web at www.evernote.com or you can access it on a tablet or smartphone. I've used Evernote on my son's Kindle Fire, on my iPad, and also on my iPhone. You'll see over on the left hand side of my screen that I have a number of notebooks. Notebooks are the Evernote terms for files. One thing that I do to organize my notebooks is I create what are called notebook stacks. Now you can think about this as a folder hierarchy. So today we're going to look at my whiteboard projects listing. This is a notebook stack and you can see that I have a number of different notebooks that represent different projects that I would like to at least consider at some point in the future. So let's say that I come up with an idea for a project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my whiteboard projects and I'm going to create a new notebook within whiteboard projects. Now I have a notebook name that's a default but I'm going to call this project and the reason that I use project in capital letters is because when I'm on an iPhone or an iPad it's a lot easier for me to identify which notebooks deal with my projects and we'll call this one sample speaking engagement. In my day job, I do a lot of coaching, but I'm also looking to build a speaking business on the side. And this is going to help me go through the workflow that I would need in order to create a sample speaking engagement. So now you can see that I have a notebook underneath my whiteboard projects called sample speaking engagement. And you'll also notice that it's a synchronized notebook. A synchronized notebook simply means that regardless of what device I'm using, this data will synchronize to any one of those devices when I log into Evernote. Now there are two separate ways that I can create project ideas. What I'm going to do in this example is I'm going to create a new note within this project and I'm going to call it speaking engagement checklist. And for tags, I'm going to create a new tag entitled speaking. I have a number of different reference articles, other speaking engagement ideas that are in other notebooks that I have. So I use the speaking tag to do a search on everything that's related to my public speaking. Now there are two different ways that I can organize my notes within this specific checklist. The first way you could do this is to create a checklist or a to-do list. So in this case, we might say we're going to create a marketing plan. We might want to create a website. We might want to identify event planners. And we might want to review speaking locations on the internet. Now you can see that each one of these items creates a checkbox. If you want to create a to-do list in Evernote, that's perfectly fine. 
I use a different tool which I'll share in later episodes of how I make business happen called Priority Matrix in order to actively manage my projects, but you could certainly create a to-do list within Evernote. When the marketing plan is created, you check it off. If you identify the event planners you need to contact, you can simply check it off. If you realize that there's more to do, you can uncheck the box and then the to-do item becomes active again. The way that I like to do my project planning within Evernote is I like to use bullet point lists. And you can see at the very top of the screen, you have formatting options just like you would in any traditional word processing document such as Word, Pages, or Google Docs. What I like to do is I like to create my lists with bullet points. And the reason that I like to create a bullet point list is because this is my brainstorming session. I may be identifying speaking ideas. I may want to practice the presentation at a Toastmasters event of which I'm a member. And I might want to talk to my mentor about how to organize my presentation. So you can see there are two separate ways to create these project lists and this is simply a personal preference but now you can create other notes within your project. Let's say that you find a website that has an interesting article so now we're going to bring a web link on a particular speaking topic into this particular note in Evernote. So I found this article online, Business School versus C School. This might be something that I want to use within my Evernote. The easiest way to use this feature is to copy the link, go back into my Evernote, and now I'm going to create a new note, and I'm going to call this link to B school article. It's in my sample speaking engagements notebook. And again, I'm going to add a speaking tag and this time I'm also going to add an education tag because this has a very important part to do with education and much of what I do in terms of speaking and other work that I do involves education. So now all I have to do is paste the link after copying it. I'll simply paste the link into Evernote and instead of saving the note, what you do is you sync the note and you'll see that the sync function occurs. And now these two notes will appear on any device where you can log into Evernote or you can also look at Evernote on the web. So as you're coming up with project ideas, creating a notebook stack of all of your projects as well as a separate notebook where you can collect ideas, reference articles, quotes, interesting tidbits for your projects is very important to help keep you organized and focused and allows you to determine which items you want to focus on with the limited time and resources that you have. So that's how you can organize project notes within Evernote. I hope you enjoyed this first edition of How I Make Business Happen. I look forward to providing more tips and tools on Evernote in the future. I'm Dallin Christensen for Whiteboard Business Partners and I'm here to help you make your business happen.